Hello, I'm Tag from Tag the Shooter Photography. Thanks again for joining my channel and, and I'm going to show you really quickly a issue that we've all heard about or at least most of us, especially if you own the Sony A9. Um, one of the issues with the Sony A9 has been a hot shoe. I know I made a video that I had to take down a long time ago when the first A9 first came out where my hot shoe completely broke. This is a second A9 that I got from B&H. Um, but this Sony A9 does fall into the same serial numbers as the as the recall any of the recall numbers. This Sony A9 actually um, falls into that category as well. Um, so I wanted to show you what the issue is. I'm about to send it off for repair, and as you can see, the hot shoe is not damaged at all. Um, does it have any signs of it breaking or anything there? But you don't notice that until you actually put a flash on it. This is the Godox 860. Um, it's a pretty nice size flash, but it's the normal size flash that, we, that you would buy. Um, so what you do is when you, once you put this, the flash onto the camera and screw it down tight, you notice that it wobbles. As you can see, camera is steady on the ground and you can see that it actually wobbles back and forth. Um, no matter, and as tight as it can be on the hot shoe, you can look at the hot shoe, everything is tightened down real good. And like I said, it wobbles back and forth. That is a big issue because like I said, my first A9 broke completely, broke uh, broke off, and you can see the serious damage. So, um, that is the issue that I'm sending it into. Um, I'm gonna show you that on the A7R3 and also my A7R that once you tighten it down, it doesn't wobble at all. It is very firm on the camera you don't see any issues with it so basically and they're also in, supposed to be in the same body of camera i mean supposed to be in the same body so obviously something is different with the hot shoes between the two cameras um they said that um they was go they're going to add longer screws inside the a9 to um, correspond to all of the ones that they fixed that are not part of the serial numbers and I assume they have done it in the A7R 3 and the new A7 3 that just came out so like I said you don't see any kind of damage on it but you see it wobble so now I'm gonna show you if they fixed it or not stay tuned I'm shipping it off to, to Sony Pro Support today, and I'll let you know how long it takes and um, if they corrected it. Thanks again, and I'll see you in a second. Okay, it is now back um, from Pro Support. I shipped off my Sony A9. Um, to get the hot shoe repaired and the cleaning. So let's see what they did. They returned it back in a different box than I shipped it in. They sent it back in a double box with plenty of bubble wrap and all that good stuff on. So now here we go and as i was hoping early in the video that the hot shoe wobbled when i put the flash on so let's see what happens here now i uh, it took about a week I put it in the FedEx drop box on a Sunday night. Um, they picked up, I think they the pickup was already gone, so they didn't pick it up until Monday at 6.30. That's the pickup time, p.m. 
Pro Support called me on Tuesday and said that they received the A9. I live in Washington, Maryland, Washington, D.C. area, and I can't remember exactly where they shipped the A9 to, but they got it the next day, one day shipping. They called me on Tuesday. They said they had it and it was in repair. Then on, they said it usually take about a day to do the repair. All the stuff usually come in on a day repair, so they fixed it in a day. They shipped it back out on Thursday is when I got the notice that they were shipping it back out. And I received it on Friday. I actually got a text message because I'm set up with the FedEx that said that it was coming today. And then I got a call this morning from Pro Support saying that I should get my A9 today. And sure enough, here it is. So it took about a week. It took about four days, Monday, uh, say five days total that I was without my A9, five exact days. Um, and I have it back early Friday morning. So, okay, everything looks to be in order. Okay, I can't really tell any difference between the hot shoe of the A7R and the A9. So let's see when we put a flash on, does it wobble now? This is the Godox 860, as I showed you earlier. First of all, let's turn the this sucker on. Let's see, did they re did they reset anything? No memory cards in there. <coughs> see did they reset my settings no it looks like they didn't have to do a a master reset because it seems like all of my let's put my lens on here here's the Zeiss 55 let's just put the lens on real quick to see if my settings are still the same Let's put it in there. It's an AFC. It's on auto. I never use auto, so they definitely put it on auto. So, it looks like that's still set there. That's still set to zoom. My settings is there. Let's see if my function buttons are the same. I almost forget what I had it set to. But yeah, it looks like everything is still set to they put it on extra fine and jpeg so i know i didn't do that okay so it looks like all my settings are still the same they didn't have to do any master reset as they warn you when they're sending it in so let's apply the flash tighten it down real good so, as like I said, as you can see that there is no wobble in the flash now. So, that is absolutely fantastic. So, now hopefully I will feel a lot uh, more confident on my A9 hot shoe repair. So, if you haven't gotten it done and you have the A9 and you check your serial numbers and saw that your number is in that recall number i'll try to have the link to the recall numbers at the end of this post um check your numbers and definitely have your a9 repaired if you don't have sony pro support you don't have to you can still get yours repaired if your numbers if your serial number is part of that recall so definitely get it done it will even if you don't use the flash um as i don't use it a lot on the a9 because I use my A7 off of flash or I use off camera flash. I do periodically do have it on my flash for events and stuff. So definitely get it done. And like I said, there's no wobble. And it feels very firm on the A9 now. So thank you for watching. That's all I wanted to go over real quickly. If you have any questions, um, 
please um, let me know in the comments. And like I said, it does fit on firmly on both the A9 and the A7R3. And I'm hoping that some of you that have the A in the wobble here, also the ones that have the A7 III, which I haven't gotten yet, um, they also fix that. They put the right um, hot shoe with the right screws in the hot shoe so you won't have a problem with the the A7 III since it was supposed to be built, built, built for using flash on it with the f fast flame rates like the A7R III is. So again, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe if you can. If you don't, I understand. But I will have, I will let you know any um, other issues I have. And like I said, thanks for watching again. Tag the shooter photography.